almost fast. Bitch. Dang. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. <gasps> and that's not the worst of it. This bastard. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Huge clashes and no casualties, though? Lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. Hell yeah. The underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of Did I just the ask the to repeat the question? Into, but with such I did. My bad. Mines, in order to quell oh. As for you, the chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the underworld. You're about to come face to face with reality. I didn't know she was inside me. Holy shit. Doctor lady? Doctor lady. Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. There she is, that Mountain Dew necklace enough. again. Give me I a sip of that shit. Like, the miners said they saw him take a group further in. You look fine to me. Uh, Wait, what? Sorry, I need to prioritize the wounded. You see these people? <laughs> They're all miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I thought that dialogue option was her saying, shut They're up, you afraid stupid. That angry miners might try to take revenge. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomero vein with incredible deposits. Damn. The initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news. How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. Most of the mines have been contaminated by the fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. Couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. Ooh. And that was the final straw. As it happens, that's exactly the law we have down here. But the vagrants have their own custody. Well, that's knew what I was told See about. it, share it. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So... Are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? Yep, I'm here to kill everyone. They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. Oh. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Gosh, so sassy, dude. Of Leave me alone. You help. We care about other people too, you know. Oh, so like she is. Shut up. Of course it is. Nobody gives without expecting something in return. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As oh. you've all seen, the situation down here is um strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. Relics, huh? Oh, I see. 
So this is what you're talking about earlier, huh? Getting my sets. Relics. Oof. Jesus Christ. Each person's gonna need that shit, huh? Jesus Christ, I'm gonna need so much of shit. I was hoping I, I was getting to avoid that uh, in this game. But I guess any mechanic you can get to kind of suppress the player's progression. Fuck it, why not? The giant ore vein, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. That person up ahead, is he asleep? You dead. Let's head up and take a look. Oh, he's dead. Falling Name. asleep in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. I can't imagine that Get metal floor's very head. warm either. Mm. Uh, mushroom bread. I can't see it on the menu. <gasps> Masila. You've got a death wish or something. How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Yeah, we'll have more once with that seller. Take shelter? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the It was just wishful people. thinking that um at the time I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. We mentioned it earlier, I was hoping that maybe it was just like the uh clothes off my back. Do all the relics one time. I do the whole do one set of relics for the whole team, but I guess it's uh, uh further in. I each guess. individual person has their own Those shitty fucking the relic build shit. Fuck the music. The great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. I'm trying not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for um getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough. I'll have time for a, for a nap. Because that guy's the sleepy I dwarf. Recognize that woman? That's Elaine from first. Elaine, <laughs> are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I, I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Oh. Don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. New challengers enter. About time. Hey, that one's got a big belly. So <laughs> Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a Am I supposed to be worried about traffic lights? The excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. 
<laughs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. Then there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. <gasps> Svarog? That name sounds familiar. You remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Svarog's robots. What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Trifle. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it r responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? <sighs> you idiot, we'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomara. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. Speaking of lessons. Also about playing The Witcher 3. You know? <gasps> How am I gonna play? I can't let's <laughs> go. Who they to repent? Ooh, I did smash him. Let's make it quick. Hmm. How quick though? Hey! Don't fight back! Time for sword play. Son of a bitch. Who they to repent? How dare it. <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? What the fu whoa, whoa! What the heck? Beep, beep, beep! Searching for potential user. Paimon! Beep, beep, beep! Voice print detected! Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we Hey, I recognize that voice actor. It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity. <laughs> Got him. So Huey means know about the Interastral Peace Corporation? That's great. Beep, beep, beep. Self-introduction. I am Richard, the home use object finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. A home use object finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an interastral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Hey. Beep, beep, beep. That's a hell of a warranty, bro. Alien, please take me to an interastral peace appliances. Come here, alien, fucking one more time. Repairs. What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Beep, Just take it. Beep. Yes, yes, yes. When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy. That's me. <laughs> that filled me with so much rage. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> was that my elemental sight gonna be? Is that gonna be my elemental sight goblin? Can't use the what? Not authorized. It's a lever. How does it know? Shut up. He's like, it must have been the wind. Overkill. I'll take it. Reach the end of the story in your own way. 
Why do I feel like he's making fun of me for doing it that way? He says that shit. Ooh. Easy. Should we go down, bud? Which way? Where should we go, bud? Alright. No way. See you. Bonk. Bonk. Ooh. That's free real estate. Yo, was those more relics? They were. Fuck it. Crit rate. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, that makes sense. I have to activate it. What are you looking at? Ambushed? No way. Why is this little pissed off traffic lights looking thing out doing? Jesus. <clears throat> it's my justice traffic light. Hey, what's that commotion? It sounds like there's a big argument happening. Yeah, well, let's get hold on. closer and take a look. Hey. What's this? I want him to have this one. Sorry, my bad. Whoops. Yeah. So if I have one more of these, put it here. I'll be fucking laughing. At least those sets seem more simplified. Cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarov's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geo Marrow and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. Really Why are you crying? Disgrace. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team waste of time trying to reason with you while you've been kicking up this fuss the whole vein's been seized by robots now we're all in the same boat <laughs> right right we can't rely on the vein anymore but don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party uh oh whoa easy what are you trying to pull off i'm warning you wildfire in the area <laughs> Empty threat. 
Wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparag's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. I'm a murderer of hire. Ask me to murder. They're getting oh. ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels. Kill them. Going to. Oh. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Hot blooded. Yeah, buddy. Aha. And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? You frosty boy. Shut it. Kill him. Your territory. Done him. Holy hurt. shit. I'll take you all in one go. Let's go. Uh, Mega Bash. <laughs> no, wrong one. God. Damn it. A one time enemy. I'm a one tap. Let's make it quick. Easy mode. Oh, Zila, thank goodness you came. We were nearly uh nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while <clears> now. <throat> Wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Bloody robots. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did anything. This camera angle is confusing me. He doesn't leave the furnace core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? That can. Ace, what's this button robots? in the top right here? I, I've never heard of anything like. What is this? Is it remove dialogue? Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time. <sighs> get him, much? Okay. The intersection. Can we still get through? Right. There's unfinished business here. The chief is still down there. But it's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate oh, our Oh, if I spam it, it broke that. I'll be honest, you guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, you wouldn't be so hard pressed. That's not very good for off. people like who want to watch the subtitles. Antonia, not that I'm not blocking the them. Back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha. Yeah, sure thing, but uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. Hmm. Is this the right way? It looks like there's a roadblock up ahead. It's completely blocked by the mine card. What I'm glad you told do? me. I couldn't see it. Can we blow it up? Good job, Arch. Easy. It belongs to the mining <clears throat> team. Blow it up. Just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier With what? Heavy machinery? Done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's just derailed. Every we need to. Worth their worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. It's not broken. It's derailed. Okay. Hmm. Even the pin connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Sparog's minions. How do you know? We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. You did it. Beep, beep, beep. To find something, find he can help. How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Come on, 
input the name of the object you were looking for. ID can help. Oh, well, aren't you confident? Ah, let me give it a try then. Where's the input interface? I'm the protagonist, March. Let me do it. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set, confirm. Just like that. Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep, beep. Match successful. Initiating search for lost item. Minecart pin. Beep, beep, beep. Item found. Please commence search according to the home use object finder safety manual. See, I'm angry at it because I like the voice actor. It's hard to also not be mad. Yo, what the fuck? Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend a humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. Enter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Based on your search history, I recommend a How do I un-un-you? Oh my god, okay. No, I hit it. I'm trying. I'm trying to skip. So we're in this direction somewhere, huh? I see it's zeroing in, is it? This way, huh? This way, huh? You don't have to keep spamming me with the goddamn audio like that, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. In the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not beep beep beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. That's kind of crazy. I have to dump it right on top of the thing. Let me see. Uh, Holy shit, you're yeah, right. That is worse than Pine One. This part. So this Pine One shuts the fuck up that? every now and then. That was beep, beep. <laughs> What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Findy? They're gonna make me hate my one of my favorite voice actors. In the blink of an eye. Lost, we can just use Findy to find him, right? Beep, beep, beep. Biological life form search is currently not supported. If you have any questions, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Your search history, I recommend a humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, 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 beep. Potential target object detected. The current that's everything. You were a beep, 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 beep. We're sorry, Findy, but you've Are uh, you, gonna do it yourself? you say too much. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> you gotta be self reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. She lifts this whole car off the Oh my god, she's so strong. All right, mission accomplished. Hmm. Quick work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives. But you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart. She's seen us in combat. Why would she think we're fucking lame? The robots will have seized the road ahead by Whoa! There's a big evil hunk of metal right there. Let me Mark. kill it. It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go. I want to fight the big chunky one, though. <clears throat> okay. Okay, relax. Okay, so you are frosty boy. Get frosted. Uh, just whatever, do it. Whatever attacks you want to do, man. Maybe for this area, I should do the electric dude instead of um, Windy Boy. No? 
practice is over. Swords descend! <laughs> the truth of life and death revealed in sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Rules are made to be broken. Face flame? No way you give me a face flame, that's super rare. Looks good. Should have switched. Rules are made to be broken. Blade and flight. Swords descend. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Seeing it up close. This vein's even more spectacular. Mm. I doubt the underground will ever uh, see it fully excavated. I'll go this way. Mm. I knew it. I'm so goddamn flashy, dude. Just a little something. <laughs> the visual effects are fucking cracked out. Kind of love it. I kind of love it. Excavation. This vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the or in question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparg to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed <clears throat> conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparog. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team in Wildfire... They don't understand your actions. If only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. Deep. As evidenced by their presence here. Sparag! We haven't settled our final score. Zila. 
subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This music trying to do, dude. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Sparrow. Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. Uh, strange. What about the girl in red? That robot is gonna take her away. We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> yeah, fuck now Mills, you. Yeah. Mess his ass up. Time for um, them, shim. Come at me. Shall I be Robot. Yo, chill out, dude. Doing too much. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> About to explode, huh? Uh, well, maybe I should mess you up too. Strike the car. Got him. Charles, would you like it, yeah? The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. How many can you block? Strike with heart. Too late to repent. Which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. They don't have enough firepower. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. How I guess you know? I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zelo. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> oh. Chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mine should be quiet for a while. And uh, who are your friends here? Uh, Nanya. Them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. Uh. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard that anyone was pleased to meet anyone. <laughs> I won't forget you in a hurry. Wildfire welcomes you. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? <clears throat> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the overworld, too. 
Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses uh -oh. sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. In this overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I'm close to voicing the extent of the underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. <laughs> Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold, unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. This guy is just following everyone around. <laughs> Don't forget, if Sparog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Sparog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. Hmm, what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Sparog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys, hmm, it's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll... Again? Oops. I'm oh, starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our silver maned girl here, <clears throat> do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. Are you trying to put the res on her or some shit? I don't think she's interested, dude. the end of the story in your own way. Um... Hmm. I don't think this is the right way I'm supposed to go. Now. Great line, okay. Gotcha. Nailed it. Oh, 
Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Yep, you've probably seen that stylish Gerda Hotel above ground, right? Uh, not the most pleasant memories of that place. That's the above ground branch of the Grand Hotel. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. He eventually realized his dream and opened a hotel branch in the most expensive area on the surface. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. <gasps> Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? Ultimate gives you the option. <sighs> time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg, he seems sincere. What do you guys think? Mm. Mm. <sighs> Happy now? He's even starting to sound like you. <laughs> it has nothing to do with me. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the cosmic wild west. Hey. <laughs> Anyone else sleepy? Leave it to me. You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. Okay, bye. I'll keep watch. Okay. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? <laughs> Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation, we didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a silver main guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. The silver main guards have a lot to make amends for down here. Someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia. Forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. Okay. Am I going through this bullshit? Weird. <laughs>
actually been corrupted by some shit? And that voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Okay. Who goes there? Show yourself. Open your eyes, dummy. Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? I know what you mean. I don't like the feeling that I'm not in control. And now... Uh, actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Fleas? 100% because I'm a liar. Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. Fuck. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. <laughs> Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to remind me. Got him. And I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. So, in the past, you're also going to plan to overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open, but the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. You want me out for a date, bro? Shit. I'm trying to put the riz on me, man. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place. With someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. It's not that quiet. Uh, the quieter things are around you, the louder they... I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance? between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity. How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's 
Let's go take a look. Oh, we're gonna kill her. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring the <clears throat> It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. And the rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. What's up, Kurt? Is there trouble? Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk. Neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. Yeah. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Jesus. Easy, Zila. <laughs> you can help. Always willing to help, Mr. Sasha. <laughs> I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. Hmm. Get shampooed you don't here. know him at all yet, do you? You can't rely on people like Sampo when it's important. Oh, okay. As the fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for get one. Back the fuck up, man. I knew shit. Zila and I actually aren't <laughs> from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. True. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. Damn. You want to play as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Hmm. Besides, I have some experience with the fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's hey. lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Okay. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept gotcha. a bunch at the orphanage since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. Oh. Bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't got some perks, huh? Monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful. Don't push yourselves too hard. Okay, so. Metal plates and bandages, we need. rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's well, I was going to say scrap now, rags, we'll make it back uh, sundown. When booze, it comes to and perks, but yeah, pain, sure. The sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Bone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a community. We're here. I don't know what you were saying. This is Rivet Town. Shut up. Everything looks familiar. Let's go. 
And watch your step. Way over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. Jesus. It's huge. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. Nostalgia, huh? Same. What? No. Oops. It's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivertown's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful. I'm watching out for a monster. I watched it right into my bed. A one time and strike with heart. Rules are made to be broken. Reach the end of the story in your own way. A uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meeting. Get crushed. Also, the dialogue is having a hard time keeping up with how fast I'm going to do this thing. <laughs> the end of the story in your this own way. way. Uh, oh. Looks good. Free gubbins. The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible. <laughs> This place looks plenty fine. Like, nothing's wrong here. Hold on, hold on. Hey. Shit. Give me that, whatever. Meant to look at this thing. There we go. Sick. Groovy. I don't know cowboy boots. Sad. But. Oh, hold on. Quit. 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 And the quit. Okay, oops, no gloves. Damn. Unforge. There's a bunch of crates piled over there. Maybe we can find what we're looking for. Watch out for monsters. They like to hide. If you need to, clear the area before you dig for the supplies. Smack him! Are made to be broken. 
You know, I've noticed that since I got rid of, um... Uh, March, I don't have any, like, big boy AoEs anymore. That's better. Just a little something. Thank you. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Okay. Darn. How could they all be empty? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess. What are scavengers? There are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Yeah, kill them all. I mean, yeah, find them all. Oh. Yoink. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Keep at it. Keep at it. Fuck that guy up. Damn. Come in, dude. What the fuck? There's nothing in the wheel. Well, shit. This, this guy is super strong. Just a little something. Thank you. Ability is done now, but okay. Jesus. I don't think it can kill me, but it's just going to take so long to kill it. Well, maybe it will. Just kidding. Fucking hell, dude. That thing crushed me. I didn't even know where it was. 
It was this way, right? It's behind this. Which one this does? Let's go. Oh, damn, he hit so hard. This guy's super tough. God damn. Well, they are definitely much higher level than me. <laughs> maybe, I'll one more, maybe I'll level that one up now. One more try. Shit, guess not. Fucking waste my time on that shit. Oh, it's all out of, the, it's all out of juice, huh? I guess I can't afford to take it another time. Who's this? Eric? Hey, rat! How could you come here by yourself? Don't you know how dangerous this place is? Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me. How exactly were you going to get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um, there's always a way. Don't be so polite to him. Everyone in the underworld knows this brat is a no good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. Tell us. What do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. 200. What? Uh, 200 shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I his daddy needs it, bro. To use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! Yeah. <laughs> Zila, that's enough. <laughs> The goddamn right? bully, man. Here, you can have this. W what's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. 
See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomeral crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Hey, thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? Oh, it's a life lesson I involved promise. too. Deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. <coughs> Thank you. Whoever you are, you guys can't take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful, too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Uh oh. Oh, right. The road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? I'll kill him! From a young age, oh. my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Kringe. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. <laughs> I don't really get what you just said. <laughs> said that we need to take the shot I don't to get the words you said in my face. I, I still remember where it is. This way. <gasps> This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe hmm. some things will still look familiar. Grab this real quick. These stairs. These Quit chasing me. Come more narrow. Quit chasing me. <laughs> Almost there. I didn't expect this place. <sighs> we made it. I made it. <laughs> it's been so long. A crazy slide. This place hasn't changed one bit. <laughs> These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. Jeez. No, empty. How are they all empty? Who could have? Careful, enemy behind you. Uh oh. I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal. I don't think it comprehends human speech. But sure. Keep Help telling improve. it. Ooh, I need you to suck it. Gone. Uh, E. Let's go. Hmm. Regular smackies. How many can you block? Blade and fight. Fighting is meaningless. Let's make this up. Sword play. Time for a shot. The truth of life and death revealed in a sanctuary is but a vision. That's better. Don't worry oh, about me. Enemy. Oh fuck. Just in time. Just a little something. Thank you. Hmm. Let's go. 
no interest in conduct. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Fighting Practice is meaningless. Is Swords descend! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. I've no interest in conflict. I did it. think I could do it but still fighting alongside you two was pretty fun <sighs> should be all clear now let's poke around the kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here if I remember it right there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there I just hope the monster didn't get to them it wasn't my imagination <sighs> huh what are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on. The overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait. Unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so poor. Uh. Come on. I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. What? Officially yoinked. I found this. Here, take it. What is this? A brooch? Natasha would often teach us how to make different handicrafts. This must be some kid's masterpiece. And why give it to me? You gave your medal to that kid, Eric. This thing might not be as valuable, but it's at least a I guarantee it's one she made, right? Cringe. But didn't someone work hard <laughs> to make this? Oh, you sure are prissy, huh? Just take it. What's up here? Some kind of toy? Yep. You pick. Red or blue? Hmm. Blue. <laughs> Look at this. After over ten years, the teeth marks are still here. Teeth marks? <laughs> All right, well, this one time, a big kid was trying to steal this toy from me. I could not wrestle him for it, so I just bit down hard and hung on for dear life. Hmm. How boorish. Ugh, this swing is covered in dust. Hey, don't sit on it. It's filthy. Ah, <sighs> it sure brings back memories. I still remember one time. It'd I be cool if they actually played high, through this stuff. Everyone was scared I would fly off. Who knew swinging could be so intense? This definitely me have to use my imagination. At the time, I wanted to swing myself into the sky and fly up to the overworld. So dangerous. You're lucky to have lived till now. <laughs> Aren't we all though? We've looked everywhere <clears throat> but here. I hope my memory is right. Ah, yes, we found it. Great, it's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Mm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? Yes. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me. I used to live here. Undergrounder. You're an undergrounder? 
What is this music doing, bro? <laughs> You're saying that Kokolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then, yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. No. Mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. Architects said that the guardian successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the overworld and the underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I... I must have been chosen from among the children here and then... Taken to the surface. The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy and the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past and thus i became the daughter of madame cocolia my only identity is that of guardian successor but i'm not good enough every day i see silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the fragmentum but i've never had the resolve to try to change mother's mind the underworld has been struggling but i never tried to help in the end i haven't been able to guard anything how could they have thought that i was worthy to be the successor hey are you done huh well 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 annoying thank you jesus uh, christ what what you thought i should feel sorry for you after your little speech you can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems and on the front line it's not even you who's putting their life in danger but in the underworld what do we worry about if we'll have food for our next meal or survive to the next week okay now you're crying about shit I am but a small glimmer of light in this world. I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Like five minutes ago, dude. Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you. See you. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? <sighs> As the successor to the Guardian of Bellabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Lady Rhonda. Aren't people in need of these supplies? <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. We need to do we need to do these supplies? Are people dying? I should let those two be alone for a bit. <laughs> Fair enough, but like, god damn. The thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. Alright, fuck those guys. Oh! Here! We found it! Thank you, Perkins! Perkins! Oh. Warning! Warning! <clears throat> Detected. Protect. 
Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. He... he's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Perkins is protecting me. I'll be alright. I'm going to leave after I gather up these painkillers. Uh, is that what you're here for too? That would make sense. I'm sure a lot of miners are injured, right? Oh. If everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. No. Mr. Sparag, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Sparag when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sparag doesn't trust any humans besides me. Especially everyone from Wildfire. Why do you attack us then? Mr. Sparag <clears throat> doesn't want to hurt people but he always Great to good, huh? the calculations okay. of his analysis so okay Thanos Jesus Christ humans is inefficient wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground but Mr. Sparrow wants everyone to stay here according to his calculations the overground is already unsafe yes Mr. Sparag is very stubborn. He says that his responsibility is preservation. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Sparag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Sparag won't change his mind. Why not? So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Sparag. Hopefully one day he will finally listen. Clara! What are you doing here? You're... Miss Dila from Wildfire. I came here to... I'm glad they just... <laughs> skipped that shit. Why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It's fine. I have Perkins for company. And I have some more things I need to look for here first. <sighs> Understood. Be careful, though. Give me this chest. Fixed it. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. Alrighty. Goes from the farm. It's getting late. Where to now? Oh. Excuse me. We're back. Jesus. <laughs> that 
That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Ah, oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just there are <coughs> less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. So you have forgot about those guys. After all, I thought you were sworn friends. <laughs> oh, you're adorable, Branya. He was obviously joking. I wasn't joking. That old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Hey. Oh, you get her anyway. Okay, I understand now. I thought I got lucky getting her. I guess I did get her early, but now I can unlock her shit. Tired Sweet. Aren't you? That's cool. We didn't get any rest last night. Umpa. Someone's going first. Actually, I am pretty good. Uh oh. I even freedom this typer. Let's get back home. <clears throat> You know what? I'm actually going to do that right now. You're going to have to up, you know. My record is 6 days no shut eye. Give me this. Give me this. Is that a free set. What is all this? Damn. That's good for a shield, eh? Sick. Okay. Uh, let me see what I've got in Gamba. Uh, not bad. So. Let me spin this real quick. Five star, boom. Damn it. Right, well, whatever, jerk.